Crime Watch it is a program that is proudly brought to you by your police service in order to cement police public synergies in the fight against crime. Elliot Kudzai Ganyani is my name and like all times I feel pretty excited to have you along. The Zimbabwe Republic Police would like to advise members of the public to be on the lookout for criminals who are masquerading as police officers and or state security agencies and under this guise extorting huge sums of money from unsuspecting individuals. The police spokesperson, Assistant Commissioner Ponyati, speaks on this. The Zimbabwe Republic Police is a way of uh, social media postings where certain complainants are alleging that uh, there is a group or a syndicate of uh, suspects who are moving around in a Toyota Black Wish alleging to be members of security services specifically from the Zimbabwe Republic Police, the Zimbabwe National Arm and the President's Office. One of the suspects will be putting on a police uniform so what they do is they approach a motorist and allege that the motorist has either gone through a red traffic light or has disturbed or interfered with the movement of a state motorcade or senior government officials. In the process, the motorist is then attacked and robbed of valuables which include money or extorted some money. So we have lodged investigations so that the law can take its course. We want to reiterate that uh, the government of Zimbabwe, uh, through the Zimbabwe Republic Police, does not condone bogus uh, persons who purport to be police officers, who purport to be members of security services, and go around committing criminal acts. We want to implore motorists, those who are going to be approached by this syndicate, they must drive straight to a nearest police station and a report or to conduct the national complex disk number 0242-703631, 0242-703631 or WhatsApp number 0712-800-197, 0712-800-197. These mobile public police assure us the public that comprehensive investigations are being conducted so that uh, this syndicate can be arrested. Now the police spokesperson also spoke about unscrupulous individuals uh, who seek uh, to defeat the course of justice by offering or attempting to offer bribes uh, to law enforcement agencies. We also want to implore Zimbabweans to be law abiding citizens and uh, conduct all their activities, be it on the country's roads be it on whatever economic activity one is undertaking, they must ensure that they comply with the law because over the last two weeks we arrested about four suspects where these suspects were moving around with cash put aside to bribe police officers so that they can allow them to smuggle goods into the country. This happened along the Ulawayo Bed Bridge Road, along the Arare Bed Bridge Road, and we accounted for four suspects who have since appeared in court and they were convicted. And we wanted to assure the public, of late members of the public have been complaining that uh, it is police officers who are corrupt. But we have now realized that no, it takes two to tango. And we mean it when we say it takes two to tango because we now realize that uh, there are members of the public out there who are not uh, following the law, who want to compromise the maintenance of law order in the country and in the process offer bribes to police officers. So we want the public to be upright. We want the public to assist in the maintenance of law and order in the country. And we will ensure that the law takes its course on anyone involved in corrupt activities. Whether one is a policeman or not, the law will take its course without fear or a favor. In another story, ZRP Avondale in Harare seized a consignment of liquor following a tip offer that the liquor was being sold illegally. We spoke to the officer in charge at ZRP Avondale for more on this. In September 2023, ZRP Avondale, together with the district headquarters, suburban district, launched an operation codenamed No to Unlicensed Liquor Operators. The police reaction group 
for suburban district together with operatives from ZRP Avondale proceeded to number 21 Down Street, Belgravia in Arari after receiving some information that Hong Man Lee, a foreign national, was selling liquor in his supermarket without a valid liquor license. Upon arrival, the operatives managed to confiscate an assortment of liquor, that is whiskey, spirits, expensive wines, to mention but a few. The accused person was put to his defense and he admitted guilty. He paid an admission of guilty fine and the case was referred to court for the disposal of exhibit. The Zimbabwe Republic Police confirms the arrest of uh, Shamiso Fred, a 51-year-old female, for 16 counts of fraud after she fleeced a total of 16 complainants of 197,121 United States dollars. The background behind this fraudulent scam is that sometime in 2021, the suspect advertised on social media platforms inviting clients to invest in her company, which specialized in egg production and dairy farming. She enticed unsuspecting individuals by promising 250 United States dollars per month as profit share in the egg production and 450 United States dollars per month in the dairy farming project. This is after one deposits a non-refundable draining fee of $39 and $1,000 United States dollars and another $2,000 United States dollars for slots in the egg production and dairy farming projects, respectively. From 2021 to 2022, at least 16 people were deceived by these social media adverts, with some parting with as much as 75,000 United States dollars with the hope of making huge returns in profit share. Police started looking for the suspect who later handed herself to the police on 8 November 2023 and investigations are in progress. Members of the public are warned against investing or parting ways with their money by giving it to strangers or institutions that they are not familiar with without making thorough verifications. This is because many people have lost huge sums of money to fraudsters. From that story, please do not move an inch. We are taking a short break. Join us in the second segment. Welcome back. Crime and Road Safety Watch was recently at the police station in Mashonland East Province where they spoke to the officer in charge, Chief Inspector Nesta Shayaniwako, who spoke about the prevalent crimes in their policing area. She also spoke about the strategies they've put in place to curb criminality. The cases that we usually have in our policing areas are robberies, unlawful entry and stock theft cases. On robbery cases, we have groups of people who move in four or five or more than that. They will be carrying dangerous weapons. The Mara policing area is now almost like an urban setup because most people, they came from Harare and built their houses here, but they leave those houses unattended for a long time. So a lot of unlawful entry cases, they're okay. Then the other um, uh, offense that we encounter here is stock theft cases. On stock theft cases, people, they just steal the cattle from the pen. Uh, we have our own strategies um, that we are doing in our policing area to keep this increase in these prevalent crimes. For example, we do our stop and searches in the feeder road because if you look at uh, the map policing area, we have one main road from Weza to Chitungwiza. But we have a lot of feeder roads which are being used by accused persons after committing their, their crimes. Our station CRLO, she goes around uh, marketing the uh, neighborhood watch commit initiative whereby we are encouraging villagers to to identify able-bodied people in their villages who will come to the police then they will get some orientation from the station CRLO on how to do patrols in their own areas they also have uh, orientation on how to handle maybe accused accused persons or suspects that they may encounter during uh, their patrols 
Having said this, we encourage the community in the map policing area in Zimbabwe at large to report their cases at the earliest opportunity so that an offender can be apprehended uh, as quickly as possible. Now the Chairperson Crime Lies and Committee, Zetra Pidema, that is Mr. Calvin Muchairo, spoke on the importance of working together with the police in fighting crime and making the community a safer place to live. <laughs> My <laughs> Indeed, police public synergies create formidable partnerships in the fight against crime. Moving on, Crime and Road Safety Watch recently joined a contingent which was led by the Minister of Transport and Infrastructural Development, Honorable Felix Mona, to commission a road stretcher near Mvuma. I'm actually happy as the Minister of Transport and Infrastructural Development uh, standing here to demonstrate that we are in the Second Republic. You don't see us in offices. Just to mirror what our iconic leader, His Excellency Comrade Dr. Maso Damsunangagwa, is doing to demonstrate that we now have to walk the talk. And we've opened today 5.4 kilometer stretch, which was the outstanding stretch between Harare and Mashingo. We're used to hear that we are talking of Mashingo ne carpet. This stretch was in a wetland. And what I like about the Second Republic uh, being championed by His Excellency Comrade Dr. Amazon Damsom Nangato is we are building our own nation as per his mantra that Nikainova Kwanevenevai. And we are using our own resources. And today we break as the ministry's government that we have done close to 470 kilometers. And if you talk of Harare Mashingo, which is close to 296, the only missing link is the Manyame Bridge and also at Fairfields where we've got a one kilometer stretch. Why that missing link is because we are going to build a road over rail and we are also working uh, at Manyame Bridge so that the connectivity now between Harare and Mashingo, the 296, will be complete. But not only this road, we also have uh, feeder roads. We are talking from this point, Vuma going to Gweru. We also have Vuma going to Kwekwe. These are the roads that we are now seized with as a ministry. They will offload the burden from Harare, uh, Bulawayo uh, road that we know so that those who also want to go to, uh, to Gweru who also come through uh, this section, which is Chivu, Vuma, then to Gweru. But the exciting thing about this uh, movement we are running with as a ministry is the idea to pursue and run with stored projects. We have seen across the country, in urban cities, we are busy attending to the stored projects, and a number of these projects are being completed just before the advent of rains. And we've said to rural district council, in particular Chirumans, where we are standing today, that we also need to move and move with speed so that we rehabilitate our rural roads that have been neglected for some time. Not necessarily that it falls under a particular road authority, whether it's a reader road, whether it's a rural district council road, whether it's a department of road road. We are saying let's work together where you need fuel. His Excellency is saying provide through Zinara. And precisely this is what we are going to be doing. So you see us very active on the ground, covering all provinces as a ministry to run with this um, mantra 
that ni kaino vakwa ne vene vanhu from that story we're taking a short break join us in the third and final segment Welcome back. We are now in the third and final segment of Crime and Road Safety Watch. In 1996 and 2010, the Zimbabwe Republic Police Staff College got the associateship status from the University of Zimbabwe and Bindura University of Science Education, respectively. This allowed the college to partner these institutions of higher learning in churning academic qualifications ranging from certificates, diplomas and degrees to deserving candidates. Indeed, it has been a long journey of academic success, and this past week the college conducted its 40th graduation ceremony where the Honorable Minister of Home Affairs and Cultural Heritage, Honorable Kazembe Kazembe, was the guest of honor. Policing by its nature requires men and women who are knowledgeable of the laws of the land, who understand how society functions, and have an appreciation of the national objectives and goals. And in this regard, the human capital development that is facilitated by this institution is critical in ensuring that we have an intellectually equipped police officer. This is key as it ensures that our law enforcement is well informed with policing trends in the ever mutating global policing terrain that has moved into a global village. I'm therefore proud to realize that the police staff college has gone a step further by taking note of the importance of interrogants approach to maintaining law and order is a clear demonstration that the country's security architecture is conscious of the need to operate at the same level and pull in one direction. The synergies that are built among our security men and women during the learning process are priceless and critical in ensuring that our national security objectives are indeed achieved. May I point out that the training of security personnel in cyber security is not just ideal but a well thought out approach given the growth and far reaching impact that the cyberspace has made on society. It is therefore imperative that all police officers are cyber conscious because the world is fast gravitating towards a situation where policing is desperately needed in this virtual space. We must realize that national development is premised on a conducive environment that can be, that can be enabled by effective and efficient policing. The Vice-Chancellor University of Zimbabwe, Professor P. Mapfumo, gave his speech noting the importance of the heritage-based education 5.0 philosophy, not only because of its innovative and scientific character, but also in modernizing policing strategies. It is in the public domain that our education has been transformed to produce graduates who are fit for purpose, graduates who are relevant and with the requisite knowledge and skills to produce goods and services that meet the needs of our people. Such has been the introduction of the Education 5.0, which is heritage best by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Comrade Dr. Emerson Damson Magab. As our nation progresses towards in upper middle income status, new challenges arise. We can see it from across the globe. Even our criminals become more sophisticated. They use the same base. Our Zimbabwe Republic Police, our security sector, should now become more sophisticated. The sophistication that we see in the world 
is the area of science, technology and innovation. The college principal, Assistant Commissioner Dr. Chuma, spoke on the history and vision of the college. The college was granted an associate status in 1996 by the University of Zimbabwe. Equally, in 2010, the college was granted an associate scheme by the University of Science Education to offer a diploma in public relations. May I also mention that the college is very much visible in the international arena as it is a distinguished member of the International Association of Police Academies in Tehra, which has a complement of 80 member institutions drawn from 62 countries. The vision of this group is to enhance police training, cooperation and coordination that brings institutions closer to wish, work and meet for the best. Our college trajectory is informed by strategic thinking, critical thinking, and disruptive thinking. The college has fully embraced the Heritage Based Education 5.0 as directed by the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, His Excellency Dr. Dean Nangakwa. It is therefore our resolve to be active participants in our nation's agenda of economic growth and modernization. Thus, all programs at the college have been re-engineered to ensure that the college produces graduates who are fit for purpose to produce requisite goods and services which satiate the needs of our diverse clients. It is now time for people who are on the police wanted list. First is Tawanda Moyo of house number 2604 Nkulumane Bulawayo who is wanted in connection with stock theft. Simban Lovu of state number 46 Somnene Plota Victory is also wanted for stock theft. Lastly, Ngwenyang Kosiani of Halale Village, Natisa Matopo, is wanted for theft. Should you have information that may help in locating any of these wanted people, please feel free to visit or contact any nearest police establishment. Should that fail, do not hesitate to contact us on any of the following details. Our national complaints desk number is 0242-703-631. You can visit our website www.zrp.com. .gov.zw. Link with us on our email that is feedback at zrp.gov.zw. You can also contact us on our Twitter handle at Please Zimbabwe. Like us on our Facebook page, Zimbabwe Republic, please. To those who may have missed any of our previous episodes, do not despair as you can watch all Crime Watch episodes on the ZRP YouTube channel, Zimbabwe Republic, please. It really has been a pleasure having you along. Looking forward uh, to see you again next week, same time, same place. Uh, from I, Elliot Kudzai Ganyani, the Crime and Road Safety Watch crew behind the scenes uh, and the Zimbabwe Republic. Please uh, do take care.